Welcome data leaders and automation experts in Python. Automate ChatGPT with Python and Jupyter. Chatting with ChatGPT from Jupyter Notebook. Steps to get OpenAI chat completion. First and foremost, we have to ensure that our Python environment has the updated OpenAI library. The OpenAI library we need to have is 0.27.0. If you have already done the pip installation of this library and still you face any problem in your execution of the commands that we are going to see in this notebook then i would suggest that create a virtual python virtual environment and then use the same commands pip installation of openai installation of jupyter and then open the jupyter notebook from that environment if you are not aware of this process, my earlier video in this playlist will show you how to do that. Please take a look at that. And remember, you need to get your own API key and organization detail from OpenAI. The function that we will be using to interact with OpenAI API, that is ChatGPT API, will be this function. This, this part of this function has been provided by open AI team, we can use it as it is. I have just wrapped it by adding the organization and API key in this function for our use. So I have not done anything great here. However, what we are going to do with this function is going to be much more interesting. We are going to use that function to read prompts from files and write the replies to the files using for loop and using while loop we can create an interactive experience right on our Jupyter Notebook. Okay, before we start uh, going into our explanation where I will be opening the Jupyter Notebook and showing you how to do that. If you like my content and if you want to give some feedback, do leave a comment on my comment section and do leave a like and do subscribe to the channel uh, so that you will get addition, additional information whenever I update the videos. With this, let us go to the Internet Explorer, a browser where you see the examples. First and foremost, you can go to this particular GitHub repo and you can download all the code details. This repo contains not only the ChatGPT related projects, but also the other projects that I am working on for uh, making Python uh, programmers life easier. You need to go to this chatgpt.nb's notebook where you will find all the necessary notebooks. Now let me go to the chat GPT notebook number one. If you if you are not aware of how to set up chat, uh, Jupyter notebooks and how to work with it, I will be tagging one of the uh, videos where uh, you can come up to speed with Jupyter notebook and this particular repo and how to interact with that. I have, I have a separate video. Please refer to that. Now let us continue with creating a chat option chat option from Jupyter notebook with chat gpt so i am going to go to chat with underscore chat gpt from Jupyter notebook file ipynb file this is a notebook file i am going to we are going to uh, import the open ai uh, library in this cell and also we are uh, additionally importing the config parser library so that we can parse our API key and the secret without anybody seeing it. So let us start and then I am let us execute this cell where the API dot API data dot config file gets read. Let me show you how the API data dot config file looks like. Let me go back and if you uh, let me go back to projects chat gpt notebooks and if you see that there will be a file called example.conf click that and you will see this file contains a format like this this location you have to put your organization key and this location you have to put your key value the secret that you are going to uh, get from the open ai api documents and then you can come back here and once you execute this openai underscore org will contain the org data and openai underscore key will contain the key data in this way i am safeguarding my entire secrets 
and directly assigning it to the python variables so that anybody watching this video or anybody getting hands on this notebook also will not be able to get the key details this api data.config has to be updated to the example.conf ensure that you do that and please do not share keep your uh, api key safe because it it can actually create a lot of challenges if you share it with the world now comes the basic function so this function as i explained in the presentation will take the organization data key data role player and the request content the open ai chat completion dot create method this particular method will get only enabled as i explained in open ai version 0.27.0 if it doesn't get enabled if this particular function throws an error ensure that you update the open ai library the model we are going to use is gpt hyphen 3.5 hyphen turbo this is the chat bot chat gpt ai model the ai model takes messages in form of a list you see a list here this is actually the uh, symbol uh, symbolic way of representing list in python you will be giving the system the role system where you you will set the role player that the G gpt ai will play and then after that you request for the content so the request content and role player will be provided using this function here if you are uh, confused about how this function is working in python i have a separate uh, in, in fact i have a, a entire course where the basics of python and uh, working with functions loopings loops and uh, uh, data structures video is available i will tag that video also along with this video take a look at that you will come up to speed at a rapid pace okay now i am going to execute this whenever i am uh, executing this cell i am not clicking anything here so what is happening is instead of clicking run i am using the shortcut key control enter so in my keyboard so that's how i am executing this now i am going to come here and i am going to execute this particular cell and it asks me what role you want to, want me to play so this is the question asked by chat gpt so i am going to say python instructor okay and i give enter what will happen is this will take this will take give the uh, role value as python instructor so this particular variable will get the role python instructor value python instructor and then i start this while loop so when i say while true that means whatever is going to happen in this area will have will continue to loop again and again and again till i actually accept so first i am going to say i will show you how this works let me execute this code and i say give the prompt i am going to give the prompt give me top 5 concepts of python and i press enter the moment i press enter it will connect with the api using this extract response option and the content will get outputted so you see the top 5 uh, concepts of python this reply has come from chat gpt api and you see the modules you see the object oriented programming functions control structures and variables all this has been provided to us by the api and now it there is a further question want to exit yes or no i say no and i then it asks for the prompt again so what is happening here is if i say if i give the value s yes, then this exit will become equal to s yes and the loop will break but now i am going to again prompt but the instructor the role is going to be still the python instructor only so now what i am going to do is i am going to say explain me python variables in five sentences and i give the prompt you will see that i will get five sentences explaining me what is the python variable this is how the interaction with chat gpt api can be automated right in your jupyter notebook and now i am going to exit and it says 
Oh, sorry. I am going to exit now. And in order to exit, I have to say yes. And it will say thanks for spending time with me. And it will exit. In case I want to change the role. If I want to change the role and I want to say chief executive of Alphabet, the Google's parent company. Okay, I am going to give that role. And you see, I have made a mistake in this area, but let us see how Python works. Uh, let us see how ChatGPT works. And then I am going to execute, and again, this loop starts. And I am saying, How old are you? Okay, this is a very funny question, right? So I am an AI language model created by OpenAI, so I don't have an age or physical existence. Even though I have given the role of a chief executive of Alphabet, this particular role is not considered here by the AI language model. There are certain areas where we see that there, there can be a lot of improvement that can be done. We have to provide a lot more information in this role area in order for OpenAI to work appropriately. This is how we can start interacting with ChatGPT AI and uh, from your Jupyter Notebook in an interactive fashion. Okay, and I'm going to exit now, it comes out. But this is a very tedious activity. You want to automate it more in a better fashion. So that is where we are going to use the for loop. Go to the uh, go to this folder where you see get replies by reading file to chat GPT. So that will open this file. Again, I will be importing the libraries and then let us uh, read the uh, secrets file and the same function I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is only I'm going to change the uh, way I'm going to input the data. So here I'm going to take the input location of my file. So I'm going to give two prompts. So there is a file called two prompts dot txt in my folder. So if you go to this folder, you see two prompts dot txt. And if you click that, it will open up the two prompts that is there. So that is marketing activity and that is interviewer. And let us now go back to the uh, notebook and see how we can read. So this cell will read the data from the file. It has already read that and you can look at the data here. You can see the data here. And now this cell will enumerate over the data. So using this loop for in line in enumerate data and I am using one to the till the end. So this particular uh, element will be ignored because I don't want this to be given as an input to chat GPT API. So that will unwantedly waste my tokens. And then I start executing. So it gets the role uh, by using this command and it gets the prompt by using this command. And then again, we are using the same uh, function. So you understand how important using a function is in Python. It will save you a lot of time and it will make your uh, experience with the ChatGPT API way more interesting and you can automate a lot more tasks. And let me continue with this and also see this. I am going to use a variable called replace as an empty list. You, I will explain to you how will this be useful. So let me execute this and it is reading my prompt one and it says power up your responsibilities with our laptops and it is reading prompt two and sure here are two questions on SQL language. What is the difference between where and having clause in SQL and what is a sub query? Next is something more important, interesting. So if I execute this, it is saying I have two replies stored in the memory. Do you want to want a copy? And I say yes. Okay. The moment I say yes, and then if I execute this code, you will see that okay, provide me the file name to write the content. I say the tutorial output dot txt. What happens is it actually takes the replies that this replies and you see provide me the file I have given the uh, file after that it says writing to file and then reply from prompt one it the reply is written to the file and reply from prompt two is also written to the file and all this is done as string okay how to verify that the file has been written uh, you can see the 
file name is tutorial underscore output dot text. So you go back here and if you refresh this page, uh, just a minute. I have reviewed the code and see that I have given the output location in a very different place in my uh, particular laptop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this line. This line I'm going to comment it out. And then what I am plan what I will be doing is I'll be taking the destination and I'll be correcting this area. I'll be correcting this name here the variable name as directly destination so that whatever uh, whatever file name i provide then it will immediately get written in the location where i am running the uh, notebook the location where i am running the notebook is here sorry the location where i am running the notebook is here so let us go back and let us execute this again and it is asking me whether you want to store the content and i say uh, tutorial data dot txt and it writes it and then let us come back here and you see that tutorial data is available and if you click on that you will see that all the data is also available here and this is how let us go back to the presentation this is how you use for loop and while loop and work with chat gpt in a very easy format from your own jupyter notebook one of the benefits is that you will be using python uh, function this function is uh, just a wrapper around the existing chat completion create uh, function provided by openai and there you go now we have seen the entire process how to uh, automate chat gpt with python on jupyter if you like the content of this video and if you have any if you like the content of the video do leave a like if you have a comment do comment in the comment section for any questions or any suggestions and do subscribe to my channel stay tuned for further videos i will be explaining additional videos on how to automate the fine tuning process in openai with this see you automators and data leaders